Welcome to 5-Minute Health Tips. In today's video, you will learn 4 signs and symptoms of heart attack. This video is for educational purposes only and does not replace a medical professional's advice. A heart attack most commonly results from atherosclerosis, fatty buildups in the arteries that carry blood to the heart muscle. Plaque buildup narrows the inside of the arteries, making it harder for blood to flow. If a plaque in a heart artery ruptures, breaks open, a blood clot forms. The clot further blocks the blood flow. When it completely stops blood flow to part of the heart muscle, a heart attack occurs. Then the section of the heart muscle supplied by that artery begins to die. Damage increases the longer an artery stays blocked. In some cases, it may even die. Once that muscle dies, the result is permanent heart damage. Here are four signs and symptoms of a heart attack. Number 1. Chest pain or angina. Angina is chest pain or discomfort caused when your heart muscle doesn't get enough oxygen-rich blood. It may feel like pressure or squeezing in your chest. Angina is chest pain or discomfort that occurs when your heart doesn't get as much blood and oxygen as it needs. Over time, the coronary arteries that supply blood to your heart can become clogged with plaque. If one or more arteries are partly clogged, not enough blood can flow through, and you can feel chest pain or discomfort. Reversible, stable angina occurs when the heart works harder and needs more oxygen. And goes away when heart demand is decreased. Progressive, unstable angina occurs when a plaque in one or more of your coronary arteries ruptures, bursts. If the buildup happens rapidly, you are at risk for a heart attack. Number 2. Shortness of breath dizziness or lightheadedness. Feeling faint, lightheaded or dizzy may be due to a reduction of blood flow to the brain. Sudden loss of consciousness usually means that the blood supply to the brain is seriously reduced. Blood flow to the brain may be reduced when the heart rate or rhythm is abnormal, too slow or too fast or when the heart cannot pump blood adequately because blood flow is blocked, for example, by narrowing of a valve. Though this can happen to both men and women, it's more common for women to experience shortness of breath. If you're having trouble with tasks that weren't previously difficult, such as making the bed or walking the dog, make sure you get it checked out in case it's a subtle sign of a heart attack. Number 3. Neck, jaw or back pain. Pain radiating to your jaw, back, neck, or arms may signal a heart condition, especially if the origin is hard to pinpoint. For example, you might feel pain, but no specific muscle or joint aches. If the discomfort begins or worsens when you are exerting yourself, and then stops when you quit exercising, you should also get it checked out. Number 4. Fatigue. In a survey of more than 500 women who survived heart attacks, 95% of them said they noticed that something wasn't right in the month or so before their heart attacks. Two most common early warning signs were fatigue and disturbed sleep. Some women, for example, said they were so tired they couldn't make a bed without resting. The researchers said they do not know whether the findings also apply to men, who tend to have somewhat different symptoms when a heart attack strikes. When to call 911. Anytime you think you might be having a heart attack, don't ignore it. Call 911 for emergency medical care, even if you are not sure that you're having a heart attack. Acting fast can limit damage to your heart and save your life. The 911 operator or emergency medical services EMS personnel can give you advice that can help prevent damage to your heart. An ambulance is the best and safest way to get to the hospital. Do not drive to the hospital or let someone else drive you. EMS personnel can check how you are doing and start tests and life-saving medicines right away. People who arrive by ambulance often get faster treatment at the hospital. Not all heart attacks begin with the sudden and crushing chest pain that comes when the blood flow to heart gets blocked. Heart attack symptoms can start slowly and can be mild or more serious and sudden. Symptoms also may come and go over several hours. The symptoms of a heart attack can be different from person to person and different between men and women. If you've already had a heart attack, your symptoms may not be the same for another one. It is also possible to have mild symptoms or even no symptoms at all and still heart attack. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell for us, so you'll get notifications for our future uploads. 
All the best from the 5-Minute Health Tips team.